everybody, it's Max McAllister here to talk about today the action rocker plate and uh, uh, some climbing uh, gear and or fixtures. So uh, one of the great things about being able to play Zwift is that you actually get to climb real mountains. And uh, if you're riding with your friends, you're not likely to hop off your bike and raise the front of your bike. You might be, don't want to do that, but if you're riding by yourself, you certainly can. And you can do that by just quickly throwing in a couple of these riser blocks, uh, you know, most trainers come with one in the box, but you can buy extras for 10 or 15 bucks or something, and they interlock and stack up um, so that you can uh, elevate the front of your bike and simulate climbing. That's extremely valuable for practicing body position, breathing, and then most importantly, standing and learning to swing your bike uh, while climbing. So swinging your bike can add significant power because you're going to incorporate a lot more uh, body and muscles than you do by just moving your legs. So, uh, but for, there's a great contingent of people that use the Wahoo Kicker Climb, and that's kind of really where I'm going to focus this video, just so you can see what that all looks like. Know that it's the same. If I put my wheel up on this and bring the front of my bike up, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to, the action in this, the appearance is going to be the same. Now, uh, if you, this is an electronic elevator, it replaces your front wheel. Wahoo's the only company that has one, I can't believe it. It's, the other companies must be working on it, but right now if you want to use an integrated system, Wahoo's the only company that has it. Uh, and what this device does is makes your bike go up when you come to a hill and go down when you go down a hill, just like that. And everything in between. <coughs> Excuse me, so it takes, um, uh, the GPS information from the game and the bike simulates grade no matter where you go. It's super awesome and it adds a, a, a next level of reality to the game. I, I love it, wouldn't ride without it. Now, uh, you do have to have a Wahoo tr Smart Trainer to pair with it. So either the Kicker Snap, Kicker Core, or Kicker. Uh, this is the top of the line Kicker. And um, so they work together as a team and makes the game real. So that's all there is to that. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me, we have horrible pollen here in Georgia, and it's got me all choked up. I went mountain biking yesterday and sucked in a bunch of it. All right, we are on the classic route in London still, and there are no hills here, but I can simulate some if I want to. Uh, just, there is a remote control here on the side, so if you want to come take a look. <coughs> Excuse me. So I can push this button and get up here, get up a very steep grade if I want. Ugh. And so you can double tap the button, it'll zero. I can go up so I can control it. Now, if I were on a mountain in the game, the game would uh, put me into position to climb. So now you can go ahead around to the back there. <coughs> So here we are, let's say we're climbing around, <clears throat> this is about 10 or 12 percent, however the game is not delivering the resistance to me so it's still very easy, <clears throat> but the body position is such. Now so I'm going to just show you what happens when you stand up. Now I will do a longer video about what I'm about to tell you, but that is when you're rocking if you just let your body naturally move on the rocker, as you push down with your left foot, you're going to put energy in and the rocker will tilt to the left. Push down with your right foot, same. <coughs> now, that force isn't, that motion isn't so evident when you ride in reality. It's there, but because the bike is self-stabilized, which is a whole nother topic, um, you don't get the same this motion. Now, you lose some power on a rocker if you don't do something to counteract that. <clears throat> so, all the more another reason to have a solid core and to pedal smoothly. Now, when you stand to do anything, climb or sprint, that effect is exaggerated. Now you really lose power because you're just dropping it into the ground. Now, all you have to do is 
just don't do that. Go the right, <laughs> correct way. Now, the beauty of our rocking system is you can lean it all the way over onto a stop. So you, you can train yourself to learn the motion. You should be pulling one hand and one knee apart and rocking away from those. So rock to the left, pull your right hand up, push your right foot down. Rock to the right, right, left hand goes up, left foot goes down, body goes to the right. <coughs> now, while I'm just riding along, I'm out, if I'm doing it wrong, like this, all I have to do is steady the rocker for a second and just start doing it the right way. That's all there is to it. It just, just a, something you learn. Just like pulling the brakes or shifting gears or clipping in or clipping out. There's nothing to it. You just gotta practice it and get the quick muscle memory. <clears throat> so I'm on a grade here. Let's go way up. I'm riding 14% in downtown London. 375 watts going around this guy. Woo. Too much watts on cold legs. All right, I'm tired. I'm gonna sit back down. Still on the grade. So this is as if I was on out the Zwift. All right, Whew. so there you have it. Some standing climbing and some techniques to apply to do that. Uh, techniques exactly the same for sprinting. You just gotta train yourself to pause the bike, start it swinging the right way, and then you got it. It's very easy. So, hey, my guy's still coasting, three miles. All right, I'm Max. Please like this video. Uh, share it with your friends that are interested in rocking. Um, our company's Traction Dynamics, T-R-A-X-X-I-O-N.com. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep videos and training on all this cool new equipment coming every day.